Fibromyalgia is one of the most common chronic pain conditions in the U.S. According to the National Fibromyalgia Association, it affects about 10 million people, and most of those are women. Our doctors say people who suffer from this condition have chronic widespread pain with multiple tender points on the body, including the back of the head and neck, elbows, knees, upper chest, lower back, and on the hips. These patients also suffer from abnormal pain processing, fatigue, and often psychological distress due to their symptoms. Doctors are not sure what causes this condition, but research shows genetics may play a role. In addition, the onset of this condition has also been known to follow an illness or injury that causes trauma to the body. The National Fibromyalgia Association says the condition can be difficult to diagnose. It reports doctors often do not diagnose the condition until a patient experiences widespread pain in all four quadrants of the body for a minimum of three months. The patients must also experience tenderness and pain in at least 11 of 18 tender points when pressure is applied. Once diagnosed, the treatment for fibromyalgia is often first designed to manage pain. Our doctors recommend several therapy options, including physical therapy, heated water therapy, massage, acupuncture, trigger point therapy, and yoga. They say exercise can also be beneficial. Avoid high impact activity such as jogging, but jogging in place while on a tube raft in the water would be a great option. If you can, consult a physical therapist or exercise physiologist when possible and plan on 20 minutes of activity three times a week. Eating a healthy diet and getting enough sleep is also important. Doctors say there are several medications available to reduce pain and to help the patient sleep. Some patients also find temporary relief from a local anesthetic being injected into trigger points. This treatment lasts two to three months. Doctors say 20% of FM patients also suffer from depression or anxiety and may need to consult a psychologist or psychiatrist. Antidepressants may also be prescribed.